Greetings, First English family and friends. Welcome to Monday, January 25th, 2021. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. Uh, had a chance to worship on Facebook or YouTube. Uh, I understand that some of you are probably uh, upset or disappointed in the results of the Packer game yesterday, but I want to let you know that the the sun is shining. It's a new day, um, and that's... That's a good thing, you know. Sometimes we can get a little too caught up into our sports teams. I know a few years back I, I, I felt my mood changing with the results of Viking games, and it's like, I don't, I don't want that. Um, sure, I could be, you know, bummed they lost, but I'm not going to let it affect the rest of my day or the rest of my week. Um, so hope you have a good day today, Packer fans, because like I said, the sun is shining. It's a beautiful day out there. Check in time. How are you all doing? Hope and pray that you continue to be safe and healthy and well. Uh, leave a comment or a question below if you have one. I do have my coffee here, so cheers, church. Our devotion today comes from Christ in Our Home, written by Pastor Shelley Cunningham, who is pastor at Zumbro Lutheran Church in Rochester, Minnesota, and she also serves as a manager of Portico Benefit Services Team Regional Representatives. And our scripture reading today is Galatians 1, 11 to 24. So Galatians 1, 11 to 24. Paul's vindication of his apostleship is what the title of this section is in my Bible. For I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that the gospel that was proclaimed by me is not of human origin. For I did not receive it from a human source, nor was I taught it, but I received it through a revelation of Jesus Christ. You have heard, no doubt, of my earlier life in Judaism. I was violently persecuting the church of God and was trying to destroy it. I advanced in Judaism beyond many among my, among my people of the same age. For I was far more zealous for the traditions of my ancestors. But when God, who had set me apart before I was born, and called me through his grace, was pleased to reveal his son to me, so that I might proclaim him to the, among the Gentiles, I did not confer with any human being, nor did I go up to Jerusalem to those who were already apostles before me. But I went away at once into Arabia, and afterwards I returned to Damascus. Then, after three years, I did go up to Jerusalem to visit Cephas and stay with him fifteen days. But I did not see any other apostle except James, the Lord's brother. In what I am writing to you before God, I do not lie. Then I went into the regions of Syria and Cilicia, and I was, known, I was still unknown by sight to the churches of Judea that are in Christ. They only heard it said, the one who formerly was persecuting us is now proclaiming the faith he once tried to destroy. And they glorified God because of me. And the devotion is titled, Conversion of Paul. And today in the life of the church, it is the day we celebrate the conversion of Paul. And the theme verse is verse 15. God set me apart before I was born and called me through his grace. If you think about it, Paul's claim is pretty audacious. After all, he took great pride in following Jewish law to the letter and in persecuting anyone who claimed that the crucified rabbi from Nazareth was the long-awaited Messiah. But after an encounter with Jesus on the Damascus Road, which completely, which completely turned his life around, Paul's mind was changed. He came to believe that he was part of God's great plan to include the Gentiles in the family of God. Who would have guessed God's grace could do such a thing? So, do you see changing one's mind as a positive or a negative trait? Politicians whose voting records show contradictory positions are often derided as flip-floppers by their opponents. But being open to different perspectives can be a sign of humility and growth. Sometimes an encounter with someone different than us helps our viewpoints evolve. Perhaps that's God's grace at work in us, too. I think it is a, a, a 
sign of wisdom and humility and strength to change your opinion or change your thoughts or change your position as we learn and grow and maybe even are challenged by uh, people, some you know, someone with a different viewpoint. We can ponder that new information, that their story, their experiences, and then make a wise decision, either to keep our opinion, or we can say, now, now that I've learned from you, now that I've learned this important information about this subject that I didn't know before, I must change my mind and see things a different way. And that is God's grace working in us too. Be of strong heart and good courage this day, dear church. Keep yourself safe and healthy. Wash your hands and wear your masks and practice distancing when you're out in public and stay home as much as possible. These are ways we share the love of God, uh, show love to our neighbor and share the light of Christ. Let's pray. God, keep us open to new ideas, especially about people different from us. Amen. Blessings upon you this day. Peace.